and happy Thursday. I am, as you can see, working from home today. Um, I'm actually starting this vlog quite a bit late. It's uh, just 12.54 now in the afternoon. I just finished having lunch. The bow um, was in the office this morning. Sorry, I have to fix my hair. Um, the bow was in the office this morning and then he came home. He's working from home the rest of the afternoon, but he brought me some lunch, which was Subway. And I normally don't eat a foot long, but, and I technically didn't finish the foot long. I put like this much left of the sandwich back in the fridge, but I ate most of it because I was quite hungry. Anyway, we're back with my squeaky chair here. Um, yeah, I'm just getting ready uh, to go into my next meeting at one o'clock. But I thought I would just stop on here and say hi while it's still technically my lunch break. On a side note, I posted this on Instagram, but I'm currently wearing the Nearly Berry uh, Gloss Balm from Rare Beauty today, and I am really loving it. I actually love all of the colors that I got. Um, if I had to pick a favorite, my favorite would probably be the Nearly Neutral, which I think I always instinctively want to call Nearly Beige, but it's Nearly Neutral, just because it's probably the most wearable. It's really, really neutral. It's like a My Lips But Better shade. So that's probably my favorite everyday shade. And so far, probably my second favorite would probably be this one. Uh, Cause you guys know this shade is just kind of really up my alley. Anyway, that's pretty much what I got going on right now. I'm just gonna work, finish my work day, go get Chloe. Uh, I think we're doing tacos for dinner today. So we have to do a little quick grocery stop before we come home. And tomorrow I am off cause it's my um, compressed day. So every third Friday, as you guys know, I have off. Um, so I'm off tomorrow and I have a couple of errands I wanna do, including an Ikea trip. Cause I have to return some things that we didn't end up needing during our basement reno and i want to pick up a couple of things and just check a couple of things out uh for the new year when we start to get chloe's new room ready i just want to kind of see some things in person to figure out if they're gonna fit or not fit aesthetically and fit physically <laughs> uh, but yeah that's what i'm gonna do tomorrow morning and then we're going to this is the first year actually not the first year but we're not going to the Toronto Christmas market this year. Uh, we normally would, but I kind of, well, first of all, December just kind of hit me out of nowhere. And normally we would go earlier in the season because obviously the closer you get to Christmas, the busier it gets, which I'm not about the crowds in general. I don't love the crowds. I've always gone like usually the end of November, first week of December, but I missed the boat on that one since we're halfway through the month. So we're actually gonna go check out a different Christmas market one that's a little bit closer to us actually. So it's at a resort called Friday Harbor. Technically we're not going to the Toronto Christmas market, but we are still doing an annual tradition of going to a Christmas market. <laughs> okay, we are currently at the grocery store. Um, when I went to go get Chloe, she had just taken a little bit of a spill and she actually bit her tongue pretty bad, right? But you got to have a coldie, right? And you're feeling a little better. Yeah, it does hurt a little, right? So we're gonna treat Chloe with a little bit of ice cream. We're gonna pick some ice cream to get, right? Okay, let's see. Okay, Chloe, show mommy what popsicle you got. What kind are they? Yum. Okay, we just had dinner. I am currently making some things for the whole, which is, if you're Filipino, you know, is like a tofu dessert. Basically, it's like soft silken tofu with some tapioca pearls and like a brown sugar syrup. So I'm currently making the tapioca pearls um, and the brown sugar syrup. It's actually a really easy dish to make. And then over here, I just have uh, equal parts brown sugar and water that I'm currently dissolving. This is what the um, soft tofu looks like. Um, I, <laughs> I bought this earlier in the week. I meant to make this a lot sooner, but it expires technically tomorrow. Best before tomorrow, so that's why I'm trying to get everything done today and then I'll have, so have it tomorrow. Good 
good morning and happy Friday. Uh, it is a winter wonderland today. It snowed quite a bit starting yesterday afternoon. Um, but I just came back from Pilates. I had a Pilates class this morning at nine and I'm gonna go fill up. As you guys know, I drive a diesel and it is, man, a bad time to own a diesel because fuel prices for a diesel are so much more than um, regular. At this point, it's actually probably cheaper to drive the Bose vehicle, which takes premium fuel and is a V8, because it's a performance car, um, than it is to take my little SUV that takes diesel. Um, because yeah, I think it's a dollar, a do around a dollar thirty for regular and two, two ten I think for diesel per liter. So. It's, uh, <laughs> not cheap to uh, drive around these days but regardless <laughs> I am still planning on going to Ikea today um, I'm not concerned about the weather at all have I bored you yet <laughs> anyway that's that's my plan right now hello I am home I just have to tidy some things up as you can see our sink is filling up I have to empty the dishwasher put everything in the sink in the dishwasher I'm gonna eat a little bit more because all I had this morning was Cheerios because I was in a bit of a rush to leave for my class at eight, um, the boat. And Chloe also made me a lovely smoothie, which I am drinking. I left it in the car um, and it's still obviously cold because it is cold <laughs> outside. Um, and then, yeah, and then I'm gonna change and then head to Ikea. I'm going to also fix my hair because I took a shower before my Pilates class, which kind of seemed like a mistake at the time, but then I was like, I know if I come back, I would be too lazy to wash my hair after. Anyway, that is the plan. I also wanna do a couple of other errands because um, I got Chloe this uh, Contigo water bottle from, I don't think we got it from Walmart. She loves it. But that little monster um, bit through like the silicone, if you can see there. So you can't drink out of the straw properly. And I, I don't wanna try to repair it because this is something she puts her mouth on. So I'm going to get her a new one, um, maybe two new ones. And then we'll just toss this lid. And we'll just have an extra. Hey, I have made my um, the hot which is spelled T-A-H-O. Um, but I'm having a little bit of regret putting it in such a small glass. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, I'm just having a little snack before I head out. Um, I'll show you, I did transfer the Taho in um, a mug. It definitely doesn't look as aesthetically um, pleasing, but it's still delicious. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Basically it's um, tapioca, tofu and a little brown sugar syrup. Definitely not like the healthiest option, um, but also not the unhealthiest option, I guess. Um, but it's just like a nice little treat. I am just about to head out, but I thought I would do a quick little outfit of the day. Okay, the shirt that I'm wearing, which is just a long sleeve uh, shirt is from H&M. Um, the pants I'm wearing are like jeggings from Time, which is available at RW & Co. These are actually from my last pregnancy and they're a bit snug so I'm gonna actually try to go to RW and Co today at some point probably when I get back from Ikea to see if I can get something similar um, in a small because these are an extra small so I think I need to definitely need a small because um, I kind of feel it snug around like the hips and also the big belly band that goes over the bump so I'm only at 23 weeks I still have quite a few weeks to go I, these these are not gonna last me till the end. I guess I'm a bit heavier than I was the last time around. Um, and then the coat, I'm pretty sure you guys saw this last year, but it's from Lululemon. Um, I picked it up. I actually got an amazing deal on it. It was originally maybe like 600 bucks, and I only paid around three. So it was a great deal. And it's actually quite warm, and I love it because it's long. Like, look how long it is. Granted, I am only 5'3", so if you're taller than me, obviously, it's going to be a little bit shorter on you. But if you're 5'3", and you really like long coat, this is perfect, because um, if I wear like my, my winter boots, I'm going to wear Blundstones today. But if I wear my winter boots, um, it basically hits like where the coat ends, so you're just like in this cocoon of warmth, which is awesome. But anyway, I am going to head out now. It's like... 40 minute drive and then I shall see you when I get to Ikea. Okay, I've successfully made my returns and I'm just gonna go pick up some things. I might get a Froyo. I always love looking at Ikea showrooms. I don't know why, they think they're just so fun. On a side note, the play area that they have here is open now, 
which is exciting because Chloe's never been because of COVID. It's been closed for the last three years, but it's open now. So next time we come here, she can get to play in there. Okay, I'm just um, in the desk area. I'm just trying to figure out. So I, as you guys know, I have the Alex drawer set and I'm just trying to figure out um, a tabletop that will fit on it because the tabletops in the past used to be not the same, I guess, depth as the Alex. So you'd have like a little bit of a, um, I guess, I guess a gap between the tabletop, where the tabletop ends and the Alex ends. And I don't want that. So I'm just trying to make sure that these measurements actually line up <laughs> and they're all in different metric system so some are in centimeters and some are in inches so I'm just trying to figure it out. We don't want like a super uh, big desktop so I'm thinking I would just go with this Linman and based on the fact that this and this are the same depth I think it'll work out so this is what I have as you guys know the Alex drawer um, and the desktop that we're gonna get is probably just slightly shorter than this. Okay, this is the bed we're gonna eventually get for Chloe. We'll probably pick it up in the new year. Um, if we get a low enough mattress top, then um, she can probably sleep in it like right away as a bunk bed because Right now she has the ND, so the ND would be a little bit too high, so I'd be a little bit worried for her. But if we just um, get like a little soft top, then yeah, she can probably sleep in it um, just like this. And then we can maybe put like a cushion or something underneath. So this, in contrast, is what it looks like reversed. So honestly, like you basically just put the whole bed together and all you do is just like flip it <laughs> if you want it high or low. Okay, so I got uh, the Swedish meatballs, a garlic toast, and a free coffee because I am an IKEA family member. You can actually get uh, veggie balls now and also plant balls. I'm not actually sure if those are different. They seem like they're marketed differently. Um, but yeah, so you can get regular Swedish meatballs made out of meat, veggie balls, and then plant balls, which I think maybe, I don't know what the difference is. Sort of regretting not getting a cart now because I, have my bag is almost full. Luckily I have two of them and now I've, I've begun to hold items. <laughs> okay, I'm in the warehouse now looking for my items and probably end up getting some other random things because look at all the holiday stuff they have. It's uh, has been a successful trip to Ikea. Just gotta put everything, <laughs> everything in the car now. <laughs> it's a lot harder when you're just by yourself. <laughs> Okay, we are heading home now. I did not anticipate spending almost $200 at Ikea, but I found a bunch of cute things I wanted to get for Chloe. So we'll do a haul, I guess, when I get home. Okay, I'm at the mall. Um, I wanna go to H&M because Chloe's preschool has like some theme days next week. So like holiday hair and sweater, sweater day. So I wanna see if I can get her some holiday things and then I'll go get my pants. Okay, I'm inside Mumiso, which is not to be confused by Mumiso. They're different some ways. Um, but I found Chloe this little um, <laughs> headband for next week. So I'm just gonna peruse around some more.
success. I am heading home now. I got a couple pants from uh, RW and Co. I got some things, some cute things that Mimi sew. So I think I, I think I've achieved everything I wanted to get done today. Hey, I am home. I have about an hour before I have to get Chloe. And then we're gonna go to the Christmas market this evening with the bow, obviously. Um, so let's do a quick haul, shall we? I will quickly just show you what I got from the mall. And um, so I got myself these pair of pants. So RW and Co was having like 25% off. It's not like the best deal on the, these pants, but um, for anything that was uh, already on sale, it was like an extra 20% off. So these were already on sale. They're just kind of lounge pants. I realized that I am really lacking just like comfortable maternity lounge pants um, because I still, still technically can wear like my Lululemon scuba pants. Um, I just have to like wear them below the bump, obviously. But sometimes it's just like not super comfortable. I really actually enjoy um, maternity pants with this panel. I know some people don't like that, but I like to have like a panel over my bump. I just feel it's a little bit more comfortable. I don't have to pull them up as often. <laughs> so this is just like a really pair of cozy, um, kind of like lounge pants. So they're not uh, skinny pants and I love this color. Um, if I like it, I'll probably get more in, in the same colorway because they only had the one colorway on sale. And then I got these pair of pants, which are going to replace the ones I'm currently wearing. Um, the only thing is the ones I'm wearing, they're like, they feel so much thicker than this. Um, but this one also has like the seam down the front. Uh, anyway, I can, I can basically wear this to work because they do look, um, sort of like dress pants, sort of very loosely. And I got this in a small, so these are $80 and then I got 25% off of that. So that was my RW and Co purchase. Then I went over, well, no, I went to H&M first and I got... I found some things for Chloe because next week, Monday to Friday, um, they have a different theme each day. So Monday is holiday hair, hats, and socks. Tuesday is festive sweater shirt day. Wednesday is winter wonderland Wednesday. Not sure what that means, but there you go. Thursday is pajama day. And then Friday is red green day. So I got something for Chloe for holiday hair. I don't have any holiday socks for her. I think maybe... I'll also be able to find some maybe this weekend. Um, and then festive sweater slash shirt day, I got Chloe this, which I think is super fun and cute. So it just has like fun little holiday themed things on it. So reindeer, uh, Santa presents, Christmas ornaments, a Christmas tree. So I thought that was cute. And this was only $7. So this is just a red sweater, plain sweater. It's $18 um, that I got for the red green day at the end of the week. And then this was actually on sale. I got it because it had like a, has like a Letterman uh, jacket feel to it, even though it's a sweater. Uh, but it has a C on there and it actually stands for creative. It's like a line that they had, but uh, C for Chloe. There you go. <laughs> then we move on to Mini So and I got a couple of things there. One, I got these um, laundry bags. Um, this is what I got for Chloe for um, hair, festive hair day, holiday hair day on Monday. It's got a little headband um, and we have some like green... Uh, hair ties. So I'll, I'll put her hair in like little pigtails. And then I got her these super cute hair elastics. So this is what they look like as you can see. Um, they're a three pack and they have these like just little like cute little plastic things on them. So these ones are purple bows. This one um, cute little flowers. So I got her that. And then I also got her these cute fun little hair clips, which are stars. Okay, moving on to my Ikea haul. So I got some garbage bins for the basement just because we're seriously lacking. So this one I got for the bathroom. It's uh, one of those ones with the like, little foot pedal to li lift the lid. Um, and it's a black and um, uh, stainless steel combo, which is kind of the, the theme in the bathroom downstairs. I got this waste basket um, just to go under the sink in 
the basement also because like I said, we're like lacking garbage bins down there. I got this really cheapo paper towel holder, again, for the basement. It's nothing super fancy. Um, I got two of these uh, little squeegee things. So one for the shower in the basement, surprise, surprise. And then the beau asked for one for washing cars. He likes to squeegee the windows, etc. So one's going in the basement, one's going wherever the beau puts his car cleaning supplies. I got a bunch of cute things for Chloe. Um, I, I'll probably save this for like maybe like a stocking stuffer kind of situation. Um, but I got her uh, a set of, I mean, these are actually for eating, so cutlery. Um, cause I already got her one, but you know, sometimes we go through like two sets in a meal because Chloe will drop them or she walks away with one and then we can't find it, but they're basically just, um, plastic spoon forks and knives. For Chloe's stocking, I got her some, uh, markers. So this is like a 24 pack of markers. Um, and then I also got her some paints because she loves painting. I don't love the painting because it's very messy, but she loves the painting, so I let her do it. Um, I also got a salad spinner because ours broke. We actually really love the salad spinner. It's so inexpensive. I think it's $7 um, at Ikea, obviously, and it's just really simple. I'm not sure how it broke exactly, but this little knob had broken off ours, and we'd ha probably had it for like five or six years, so I'm, I'm not mad at that uh, lifespan. You guys saw my last uh, Vlogmas video. Chloe loves her little kitchen uh, that we moved downstairs. Uh, we got it for her birthday, I think, her second birthday. So that was earlier this year. Um, but I got her uh, this little um, utensil set from Ikea. So when she's like cooking things up, she can also use that. And I also saw this, which is so cute. It's like a little apron and a chef's hat. And it's in a really cute pattern, so I'm also going to give this to Chloe today. And then I got Chloe this, which is like a little lantern. I'm not actually sure where she's going to use this from, but she loves like flashlights, anything that makes lights. Um, so I got her this to maybe just like bring around with her. It's like a little lantern. It has like a little handle on top. So she can like carry it around with her. Or she can like bring it downstairs and decorate her kitchen. Not sure what she's gonna do with that, but I just thought that was really cute. I bought another uh, peeler because we have one, but one is just not enough. And then I got this little uh, soap and toothbrush holder set also, which was very inexpensive. I think this was like $4. It is plastic, so you kind of get what you pay for, but uh, yeah, it's just like nice. And it kind of goes with the theme because it's white and then it has black. As you know, in the bathroom in the basement, uh, it's like a mixed, metal situation in terms of hardware. So there's uh, the brush nickel and then also the matte black. So I thought this would kind of just like suit that space well. And that is it. Um, oh, actually I also got a stool, um, like a little step stool for Chloe, which I am going to assemble right now. Okay, this is the finished stool. Again, uh, this comes in two colorways. It's a white um, metal or black. So I went with the black because it just goes better with like, as you can see, like the black um, hardware and accessories that are here. So that is the stool. This is for Chloe, obviously, so she can like step up and, uh, you know, access her toothbrush. And then this is that little to duo set um, that I got that was again really inexpensive. So uh, soap dispenser, I haven't put soap in it yet. Um, and this is where uh, whoever's staying down here can put their toothbrushes. Uh, so right now it's just Chloe's. Um, and there's also a, like, a little tray that it sits on. So if there's like actually a bar of soap or if people have rings or something, they wanna place it on that tray, they can. Um, but yeah, so our bathroom is pretty much coming together. Not sure if I updated you on um, the accessories, but yeah, the bow installed them a couple weekends ago. So this was a request from my mom is to have like a mirror here. So one side is just a standard, the other side is magnified and you can obviously bring it closer. So if you want to like take a really good look at your face, you can hand towel rack. Um, there's also some hooks here for the towels 
and uh, we'll probably do maybe like a smaller towel rack here. This space is just sort of dead space right now. We have like a space heater here in this basket, which isn't gonna live here, but um, yeah, we're probably gonna do some sort of storage here. I guess the only downside of this step stool on a side note is that it's not collapsible, so this is it. But if we just want it out of the way, it can technically go in this closet, which is the furnace closet. There's lots of space here. Um, so if we wanted, we can just kind of put it here when it's not in use, if Chloe's not gonna be down here. Um, so I'm not too concerned about kind of its overall bulkiness, I guess. Okay, this is the tabletop that we're replacing. I actually really like this tabletop. It's glossy, um, it's a good size. I did a lot of sewing on it, but it's just too, basically we don't have enough space for it right now. So um, I'm just going to, I don't know if maybe we'll keep the tabletop for now. I don't know if we have space in the basement, so I'll leave that up to the bow to decide, um, or we'll just, uh, you know, get rid of it. Um, we'll either like put it on the curb for someone to take for free or maybe donate it, not sure. But regardless, we have a smaller table top to go with this Alex drawer and these two legs. So I think I've uh, pretty much exhausted uh, everything that I want to do today <laughs> before we go to the Christmas market and get Chloe. Um, I'll show you the desk. I have assembled it. Okay, this is what it looks like. Um, don't mind the other mess I put over here. We used to live on this table. Um, but yeah, so it's like a nice little size actually. I could have probably gone a little bit bigger, but I also didn't want it to extend too far here because people, you know, might round this corner and I didn't want this like table to be in the way. So I think this is a nice size. Um, you know, maybe we could put, uh, if people are staying um, in our basement, I could put my workstation here and technically work from here if I needed to, or even do some sewing here. Uh, I just don't know where, I guess I'd put the sewing machine in the basement or some storage space upstairs and just bring it down whenever I need to use it. I don't really sew all that often, so it's not like it needs to be readily available all the time. Alternatively, I could put it uh, here somewhere. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with my day. I've had a very productive day. I've done everything I wanted to do. Oh, I wanted to show you this um, light. So um, as I showed you this little lantern, I was envisioning something different and maybe it was a different model. Uh, but when I put the batteries in, it's uh, not kind of like your traditional lantern. It has like fun stars. It almost looks like um, holographic in there which is very cool. I think Chloe would love this. Anyway, I'm just waiting for the boat to get home and then we are gonna go pick up Chloe and then head to the Christmas market at Friday Harbor. Mommy! Yeah, okay, so look what mommy got you, Chloe. Mommy got you a headband for next week. So you have little antlers. Antlers? Yeah. It's so Mm-hmm. You know why? Because next week there's lots of different special days. So there's going to be days where you can, you're going to have to wear um, some festive things. And then look, mommy got you this shirt to wear to preschool next week. What, what do you see on there? Uh, uh, did you go me? Yeah, because you're such a good chef, Chloe. Yeah. I got you some cooking things, utensils. Yay! Now I can go cook. And look, mommy got you an apron. You want to try it? Yeah. So that way, when you're cooking, you don't get your clothes dirty. Okay. Is this glass? It is not. Oh my gosh, look, Chloe. Wow. A little hat. Hey, come over here. A little more. There you go. A little hat. Come on. Oh my hat. A little chef's hat. You show daddy how cute your chef's hat is. Hold on. Hold on. We're gonna put your little apron on. Wow. When you're cooking, you wear a fun apron, right? Yeah, and, and, and this, and this, and this, and this. Mm -hmm. They're all mine. All yours, Claude. And I'm gonna say with my baby sister. They're okay. not all mine when I'm, when I'm a little baby. Look how cute you look, Chloe, with your little hat. Okay, you can go show daddy. And I'll open that for you, okay? This, this thing is too little. It is. Maybe it's just for Mimi.
Okay, so we are currently at the uh, Friday Harbor uh, Christmas Market. Show your lantern, Flo. Yay! And we're currently inside one of those like heated domes. It's very cozy in here. Um, and it's very warm, right? Yeah. But Chloe wants to keep exploring, so we're gonna explore in a bit. Is it a scary club? The pink one? Okay, Daddy will open it for you. one I can have? Okay, mommy will have that one. Okay, we are heading home now. It was fun. It was very quiet actually considering it's Friday night. Um, and we decided we're just gonna make this our new um, Christmas market tradition because it's closer to us. It's not as busy, which I love. And it was so fun. Okay, we're home, Chloe is in bed. Um, but before I call it a night, I'm going to do today's advent calendar. I'm actually gonna do 15 and 16 because I forgot to do 15 yesterday. So 15, oops. Oh, this is the Tower 28 spray. And then 16 is, is a Fragrance? I actually don't know. I feel like this is an influencer brand. Oh, it's right here. So yes, it is a fragrance. I'm really bad with notes, but I would say it definitely smells fresh. It's definitely citrusy and maybe, I don't necessarily think it's floral. It could be fruity a little, but anyway, it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it is a roller ball, which I do appreciate because I do um, like that. Uh, application method. Good morning. I am in a little bit of a rush because I'm heading out the door, but Chloe and I are going to go to a reindeer workshop at a botanical garden. It's called Allison Botanics. Um, anyway, this is what I'm wearing. You guys might remember this festive glossier sweater. Um, I think they still have it again this year. And then some like leggings that are kind of like pants. They actually have pockets, which is fun. And yeah, Chloe and I are going with one of Chloe's friends and one of her, her mom's actually also my friend. So I don't know if I've made any sense, but I gotta go because I don't want to be late. Bye! I'm just making a good one. Yeah? Good. Thank you. Hello, I'm home. I dropped Chloe off at my parents' house. She was very excited to go and she always has fun um, at her grandparents' houses. But I'm home. The beau actually went for a massage, so he'll be gone for an hour, an hour-ish, a little over an hour really. Um, and then when he gets back, we're gonna do some errands. I'm currently making myself some lunch because I am hungry. I haven't eaten anything since I left this morning, which was like, I think I had breakfast at like 7.30 this morning. It is now. 12.35, so I am a bit hangry. Uh, and yeah, that is the afternoon so far. I'm currently making myself um, some fish and chips. Okay, we are currently at Canadian Tire, um, picking some things up. I got a couple things for Chloe. And then we're actually going to head to a little Christmas gathering. Um, but it's kind of a drop-in thing, so there's like not really like a hard time we have to be there. So we're gonna do our shopping at Canadian Tire and then head over there. Okay, we um, 
went to a friend's house for like a quick little gathering. It was nice. They had lovely charcuterie out and other snacks, which was delicious. I'll insert a clip here. Um, now we are on our second errand of the evening. We were at Walmart. Now we're at Shoppers Drug Mart because the beau has decided he's going to upgrade his skincare routine and incorporate retinol, which um, he just discovered is like a miracle ingredient. So um, we're getting body wash. He's going to do the whole, whole, whole gambit of retinol. Okay, we're home from our errands. I'm going to show you some other things that we got for Chloe. There were a lot of um, clearance toys at Canadian Tire. Um, and we basically had a field day, so let me show you what we got. Okay, I got this uh, toy food set. It comes with 60 whole pieces. And as you know, Chloe loves her little kitchen. She loves like the pretend play. Um, so I got her this, and this we're not saving for Christmas. I'll probably just give it to her tomorrow when she gets home. So she can see it. She's gonna die for these french fries because she loves french fries um, in real life. So she's gonna like, love this. And it also comes with a little bottle of ketchup, which again is Chloe's favorite thing. Also got Chloe this uh, Play-Doh kitchen. Things are very, everything is very kitchen related. Uh, well, I guess only the two things, but um, we have a lot of Play-Doh also. And this one does come with Play-Doh, but we also have like a bunch of play-doh and i just thought this was really fun she loves popcorn so i think this would be really um fun for her she can like scoop out up pretend popcorn so this is what it comes with has a little scooper and then these like little popcorn containers um and then it also comes with like a little where was the photo of it here so you could make little chocolate bars and then like chocolate sauce the bow picked out this one which is who's there um, it technically says 8 plus, but I think Chloe will be able to play a version of this game, I think. Um, yeah, so nice little board game. She actually doesn't, this is probably her first sort of like board. Nah, it's not a board game, but you know, it's like a little game. And then the biggest find of all is this Melissa and Doug. Uh, it's called the Hiking Playset. So you guys know I picked up the Melissa and Doug binocular and compass for Chloe. But this one is the binoculars, compass, water bottle, backpack. It's like the whole gambit of things. So the set that I originally got for Chloe was $15. This was 20. It was on clearance for $20. So I picked this up and hopefully I can still return the other one. Otherwise I'll just like donate it or re-gift it. Look how fun. So it comes with like a little backpack and little sunscreen and it has like a first aid kit with like a little fake band-aid um, so yeah I think she'll really enjoy that okay I have successfully wrapped the gifts that I planned on wrapping I sort of underestimated uh, the amount of wrapping paper I would need for a couple of them but it's okay I'm going to end the vlog here because I feel like We've been up to a lot the last couple of days. Um, but before I go, I'm gonna do open today's advent calendar, which is day 17. Amiga. I've actually never tried anything from this brand before. I'm not entirely sure what this is. It says overnight hydration routine. Is this something you wash out? Okay, you leave in your hair at bedtime. Oh, it says no need to rinse in the morning. So interesting enough, I will try it and get back to you. Uh, so with that said, thank you so much for watching today's episode and I will see you in the next one. Bye.